Hello, this is Christopher with Puget Systems. I'm creating this video here today to show how to take ownership of a file uh, and then change the permissions. Uh, not something you usually need, but it can come up if, say, you've hooked up uh, an external drive to your system from another computer uh, and you don't have access to the file, or, or if you're trying to change a system file uh, that you need to change for, you know, maybe there's a, something broken in Windows. In any case, uh, just to use this as an, uh, as an example, I'm going to use the hosts file, and I've already brought it up in a folder here, and uh, I'll show you how to do this. So first things first, you're going to want to right-click the file in question and click Properties. You're going to get the properties for the file, and you're going to want to click on the Security tab, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to take ownership of this, because right now, uh, there's not a whole lot we can do uh, with it, so we're going to go to Advanced. We're going to click uh, up here. You see it's got the owner's system right now. We're going to click Change, and we're going to click uh, Advanced here. We'll make this a uh, whole advanced window. And next we're just going to click Find Now. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a list of the users uh, that the system detects. And we're going to go ahead and click uh, Chris. Uh, because that's my username and we're going to click OK and finally we're going to click OK again now this is going to make me the owner of the file which is good you want to go ahead and apply this it's going to give you a prompt uh, telling you that uh, you're going to need to close these uh, windows before you can make changes to it and you just click OK we're going to click OK again and we're going to click OK again now, we've just taken ownership of the file, but we can't do anything with it yet if we want to, you know, control it on, uh, on a user basis. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on it and click Properties again. We're going to go back to Security, and then we're going to go over to Change Permissions here. We're going to click Edit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add the Chris user um, as one of the, uh, you know, the listed security users. So we're going to click Add, Advanced, and Find Now. Same thing as before. But we're going to go back down, and we're going to go back down to Chris, and OK. And OK. Now, what we're going to do different here, this is what, what uh, the difference is. Now that we have Chris as a user, we'll notice here that he doesn't have full permissions. He can read the file and uh, execute the file. Uh, but he can't write, he can't modify the file, and he can't, uh, he doesn't have full control of the file. Well, let's say he needs that. So we're going to go ahead and click Allow, and then we're going to apply. Uh, it's going to give you a security warning because this is a system folder. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell it yes, I want to continue. And I'm going to click OK, and OK. And that's it. I now have full control over the host's file. I can make changes to it as I wish. Um, without using admin rights, and I can, uh, uh, you know, I am the owner of the file. If I wanted to, I could change myself away from the owner, but uh, I don't really uh, need to do that right now. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you.